All right, Kryptonauts. So in this video, I want to show you how I set this MSI Gaming Plus X470 motherboard to run headless because I'm I'm all done with it. I got the um, Ryzen 9 3900X tuned in for uh, Raptorium. It's using less watts by half and getting a little more better, well, better efficiency, better hash rate. And I like that it's also cooler and using less watts. So tuning it was pretty, pretty impressive. And um, that was from Rabid Miner, Rabid Miner's channel. I got that information and it worked out really well. And I think I tuned it to one, one, 1 1.0 volts and uh, 3.6 gigahertz is I think the settings I had. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, so how to run headless. This is my work rack GPU, my old 2013 GTX 760. It's fried, it green bars when you try to use it, but I can still use it as a pass through for HDMI. Now I'm done with this. I'm gonna put it back on the shelf over there with the other boys. So how do I do it so that I can take this mother card off, mother card, mother, GPU card off, right? And use it as needed for the next one because I'm going to have to swap another board over here because I'm reinstalling Windows because I couldn't get uh, AMD a Ryzen Master to run. And I go on this one, I must have installed some bad library somewhere. So I'm just, I just kind of whack it instead of trying to figure it out because the other two Ryzen 9s, uh, AMD Ryzen Master came right up, was able to overclock the CPU, one and done, right? So, got it. I want to use, reuse this card. How do I do it in the BIOS? So here's what you do. This is the MSI BIOS. I love the MSI BIOS, mainly because I know it now. Comes up. This is your default page. I go into advanced. I go into advanced. Uh, let's see. We go to settings. And right off the bat, go to advanced. Integrated peripherals. So this CPU does not have uh, built-in graphics. It's discrete graphics, meaning it needs a graphics card, right? But you can still run headless. But how do you access the rig? How do you access the motherboard? I do it through Google Chrome Remote Connection. And then I just access it through the network. And it's been working great for me. So let's go in, integrated peripherals, right off the bat, this make uh, MSI makes it so easy. VG, VGA card detection. Just do ignore. Kablamo. Ignore it. That's all you got to do. So now you can go and save this. I just hit X. Tells you what you changed. Say yes. It, it's all happy and reboots. And now I can, uh, once it reboots, I'll shut it down. I'll take out this. Uh, work my worker uh, GPU so I can use it again and then put this guy on the shelf he'll run basically untethered the only thing tethered is going to be he's plugged into a power socket you know outlet uh, but he's running the dongle here boop, 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 right there and it's pretty cool man I love these CPU rigs you can just slap them together real quick I know I was scared over overclocking them I overclocked this one, I think, and then I reset it back to default, and the thing flashed, and it went away and rebooted. It went, oh, God, I just fried a $500 CPU, <laughs> but nope, it came back. I set the settings based on what Rabbit Miner had, and I said, hey, this is awesome, man. Temperature dropped. The wattage went from, like, 105, 110 down to 60. I'm like, I'm in. I love this. This is the stuff I love. I love to learn. I love to figure out because you're being more efficient. You're cutting down power usage. You're also then cutting down heat. And these things aren't baking. So it's optimal. It's great. Good stuff. All right. So that's how you run headless on <laughs> MSI gaming board. I don't know. Other, other motherboards have similar settings. They've got to. And, of course, you're okay then if you have uh, built-in graphics on your CPU. All right. That's it. Short and sweet. I'm out. Bye.